That's why I say like the Ethiopian has a meaning. That's like it, oh, Israel really got a meaning. Israel is not a place on the map. You see what I'm saying? Israel has a meaning. It has to do with a group of people. So Ethiopian is, is also a mind frame that deals with a group of people. That's why I say all Israel, not Israel. King Herod, King Herod was uh, the king of Israel, but we know he was not of Israel. So I understand that. Yes. Same thing with Jerusalem. Jerusalem don't go on the map. Jerusalem is a mind frame. But they're not speaking Jerusalem on the map. But the scripture lets you know where it's coming from. It's coming from above. So why, why are we going to Jerusalem when the whole prophecy is about what? The new one coming from above. That's, see, all this is the lie to play games with our minds and throw us off from the holy teachings because these are holy teachings. These are not stories that we read and follow history. These are holy teachings about the last days. And we don't read it that way. We can part with the story, and that's, that's the lie. That's when it becomes the lie. The story, the teaching of the story is what's true. And the story is the lie. These are the mysteries of the Bible. I can understand that as well. I'm with you on that. 